When we ask ourselves now why we need the humanities, part of the answer to that question is because we need to think about how to survive into a future that is unprecedented in terms of the climate conditions that limit our thriving. And my belief is that climate change challenges what it means to be human more than any other ecological problem we've ever experienced uh, in the lifetime of the species. So I'm curious to find out for myself, but also for others, for my students and just for the broader public, where can we see some practicable solutions about how to be the best kinds of climate citizens which is an international planetary kind of citizenship, how to act ethically and with empathy in conditions that might involve certain kinds of scarcity that we haven't seen before, um, and also how to remain democratic as a culture here in the United States when we're being pressed very hard uh, around questions of, of resource scarcity, uh, new forms of globalization that have changed our economy profoundly, uh, and, and also, I think, inequities in terms of who is affected by climate burdens that help exacerbate problems such as racism. It's really, I think it's really great that the Radcliffe Institute and that Harvard University is supporting cultural work that addresses this kind of planetary problem. And I hope, because I'm a Harvard graduate, I got my PhD here, that Harvard continues, as it has been, to be a, a leader in really addressing um, the problem of being human in the age of climate change and letting this be at the center of work in the social sciences and the humanities so that the scientists don't have to bear the entire burden of communication on an issue that it seems is getting more and more difficult to speak about in public. <laughs>